Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this uh, Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can uh, rotate a series of boxes uh, from one of the faces. I'm going to explain this step by step. As you can see here, we can define minimum and maximum of rotation. Uh, the number as the rows. So this is going to be the first row, the second row, and as we go, it's going to increase. And also we have a control of how many we want to extend it. So if we put this to one, as you can see here, it can be a series of boxes rotating, stacking on each other. Uh, the thing I want to explain is basically how we have to manage the rotation axis and some tools we're going to talk about. Okay, to get started from scratch, I'm going to use a rectangular vertical rectangle. Use the shift key to make it an ortho. And this is the base surface we're going to work with. Uh, I'm going to bring that inside Grasshopper by going to the Params menu, Geometry Surface, put it on the canvas and set this to the surface. We can also right click and internalize if we don't need that in Rhino. Okay, after we have this surface, what we want to do is to rotate this uh, around this axis. So I'm going to go to uh, Transform and in Cludian we have this rotate axis. So I'm going to rotate this axis, uh, this geometry, the axis is going to be a line. We have to give this edge, for example. So uh, you can do two things. One is a surface deconstruct B rep, and another one is curve uh, utility explode. Both of them is going to give you uh, the segments we need here. So as you can see here, we have four segments, uh, which is the lines we need for the axis. But when you deconstruct the B-Rep, uh, it gives you the faces, the edges, which we need, and also the vertices. So if you want to use the vertices and the faces, uh, you can use this deconstruct B-Rep. But uh, for now, we're going to just use the curve explode. And actually what's happening here is that the surface is being converted into a curve, and the, then it's going to be exploded into segments and vertices. Okay. After we have the segments, the four segments, we have to select them by going to the sets list item. And uh, the first edge is here. We can give a number slider between zero and three because there are four edges. Zero is going to be the first one, the second one, and the third one. And we can give that to the axis. And if I right click and put it into degrees and give this a number slider, you can see that we can rotate this based on degrees. Because we want to make a series of rotation, what I want to do is to go to sets and use this range tool here. And give it to the angle. Uh, how many steps we need is the number of uh, this uh, surface in the Z direction. So I'm going to say maybe three to 20. So this is the count, Z. And as you can see here, it's not really that significant. And the reason here is it's uh, actually one degree. When you give a range, the default domain is zero to one, which is one degree. And as you can see here, it's not really that much. Uh, what we have to do is to define a domain. So I'm going to go to the math and pick up a construct domain. and maybe say between zero and 90 degrees with two decimals. Say control V and 90 degrees. This is also going to be the minimum of rotation. So if I just turn off the base surface, you can see it's starting from here. This is the starting rotation, and this is the maximum rotation we're going to get. And this is the count we need in the Z direction. OK, uh, after rotating them here, we can move them up. So I'm going to go to Transform, Move, or you can simply search for Move. Move them in the Z direction. Uh, OK, to bring up these rotations, we have to make a series. Uh, so I'm going to search for series. You can also find it from the set uh, series command and give it to the Z. 
and uh, the start is going to be zero because the first one is not going to move so let me show you here assume that this is the first rotation and this is the second rotation and this is the third rotation and uh, the first one is going to be at the same place the second one is going to move up and it's going to go up the height of here and it's going to be something like this and this one is going to go here right so what we have to do is to make a series zero if it's an edge it's going to be edge to edge and till the end so we have to make a series uh, start is zero the step is going to be the length we have extracted here go to the params menu and pick up the number to the step and the count is going to be the count we have here the only trick is that when you use the range and divide it into these steps for example a 9 is going to give you 10 outputs so what you have to do here is uh, you you can add to this count expression x plus 1 and now we can turn off the rotation and you can see it here uh, okay now you can see the count here the minimum and maximum you can even start from a big number to a smaller number whatever you want for those who want to have an advanced example i have also uh, added a lesson about this one which you can see here i can make a graph mapper on each of these uh, strips and we have them here okay uh, after producing this uh, series of a, a linear array in the z direction we can make uh, a copy of that in the x direction so i'm going to go to transform a linear array the direction is going to be the x the count can be from 1 to 20 for example this is going to be count x and uh, for the x we have to use this edge so just make a copy from this one and pick up the first the second edge and then give it a number and then give that to the x and as we increase it you can see we have produced them here okay uh, okay to lock them together what i want to do is to move that a little bit back for this one in the y direction and let's give this a number slider so this is going to be the moving back from this remember if this is the uh, correct direction it's going to be minus y so i'm going to move that okay we just have to copy paste uh, the movement so i'm going to just make a move the series we can even just copy this move here and give it to this one so you can see it in the z direction and then we have to copy this linear array and give this as the input and that's it so these are now these surfaces have been rotated and these surfaces are just a, a simple linear uh, array in the z and the x direction okay now that we have them we just have to make a loft between each of the surfaces because we have made this first an array in the z direction and then in the x direction you can see that we have them in groups it's like uh, seven groups of 12 but we don't need that so what i want to do is to loft them one by one which is fine we don't need the group so I'm going to just flatten the surfaces and bring that to a new surface container turn that off okay and what we want to do is to loft them together so I'm going to uh, say loft and to loft them we have to extract the 
borders just give a curve to the surface it's going to give you the borders and because we want to lock them two by two just have to graft and put them in one container with a shift key uh, sorry this one was graft and I usually graft and simplify that to put them into group of two if you don't know about the graft and simplify you can enroll in our course I've explained that in a data management section completely there so for now as you can see here we have a group of two and when we give that to the loft it's going to be connected together and after we have the borders we have to bring the surfaces here I'm going to explain this to you also so I'm going to We have this surface, we have the back surface, and we have the borders. We have to join them together. To do that, I'm going to also graft and simplify each of the surfaces. That we have the graft and simplify because of the loft. Again, graft and simplify. And if I put them in a B rep with a shift key, we turn this off because we have this poly surface for the border uh, we have to have a group of three because we want to join them so I'm going to go to the surface and join that together and that's it now we can bake that and have the final results as you can see here these are the rotations we can also give this a custom preview a B rep edge to see the edges and that's it that's how you can control it the count in the x direction this one you don't have to change so i'm going to give this a number in the panel so you don't change it accidentally and also the list item here so it's two and you can download this example file from our website and you can see that okay thanks for watching remember to like this video subscribe to our channel so you get notified about uh, our, our new videos and see you next time. Bye.